Hey, 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 it's me, Meatbag McMurray, Pirate Party candidate for Governor in Utah, and today I want to talk about uh, Focahontas, so Elizabeth Warren, as, uh, as other people know her. And <clears throat> so when she released her, D her DNA results, and I know I'm about a day late behind this because uh, I'm just, it, it's, it's just kind of, it's kind of a dumb topic to talk about, uh, primarily because I myself don't really care, like, whether she's Native American or not. Um, but uh, Donald Trump started talking about it, and she just freaking went right into it, you know, like, yeah, I'll do a DNA test. Now, the funny thing is, is that, is that this test does not conclusively prove uh, one way or another whether or not she has Native American ancestry, because the, the test results were taken from, like, Mexico, Colombia, like, like, those were the genetic samples that are used for, um, for testing Native American ancestry. Now, if everybody believes what, what we're told about the about the Native Americans, it kind of makes sense. Uh, the, the, the Native Americans came across the Bering Strait from the from uh, Russia, or modern day Russia, came across the Bering Strait, and uh, there it is. And then everybody kind of moved further and further and further south. So people who were from Colombia or people who were from Mexico, Mexico might actually uh, uh, be, you know, partly Native American. And so that's the uh, that's that's the the rationale, but but it does not test her so-called Cherokee heritage. I'm gonna tell you, there's a, there's a good recipe for Mexican, what is it, Mexican oat soup or something that she that she submitted to Pow Wow Cooking uh, under the name Elizabeth Warren Cherokee, uh, because uh, from what I understand, the Cherokee did not submit their DNA for tests and stuff like that, and so because of that, uh, you know, like you can't can't really make a definitive conclusion one way or another about her her ancestry, but. But uh, they, they did do a test and they found that of the various races that they checked, uh, she does have uh, one up to, you know, one, was it like 164th or one 1,028th <laughs> Native American in her. Using results that, or using uh, DNA samples that are not Native American at all, it's a, it's a ridiculous thing. I can't believe that people uh, uh, actually you know, really care about this one way or another, or say that this, this disproves Elizabeth Warren. Honestly, I, I really feel that this whole thing about Elizabeth Warren's heritage, uh, the only thing I really care about is, is Elizabeth Warren, uh, supposedly, or at least that's what it appears, is that she used this so-called heritage to find, uh, or, or, or to get uh, preferential employment when she was working for Harvard. And that's not cool. If you're if you're using that as a an equal or what's the word uh, affirmative action, if you're using it for an affirmative action thing, when you are literally the whitest girl in the world, and apparently Harvard actually bragged about the fact that she's the first woman of color, <laughs> the first woman of color on on the on the faculty at Harvard. So uh, I guess she's a woman of color now. He could have fooled me, but this has been Meatbag with Merck, a Pirate Party candidate. For Governor of Utah, like, share, subscribe, click the little dingly bell down there at the bottom and give me all your money because when I am Governor of Utah, I will have it all. Thank you. God bless.